Hi, and thanks so much for joining me today. We are talking all about packing. I love watching these videos because I think it really points out what the most important things are to somebody, their essentials, things they can't live without, and you really do have to pare down when you pack, and I love to just carry on. I don't check in my baggage, so skincare, makeup, clothing, footwear, everything goes in a carry-on, and then also a very small roller bag, which is smaller than the actual standard size. It's it's even smaller than that, so I really do pare down. And I have a few hacks in there so you can reduce some of the liquid items that you bring as well, which can be kind of the trickier pieces of packing. So if you'd like to see what I took with me, please keep watching. I thought I'd do this video because it's my unpacking day. We went to the Midwest for a few days to visit with my husband's family. Everyone was there. It was really great to see everybody. And it's humid there right now, so I really thought about that when it came to what I was going to take with me. And I also knew it was mostly family things, so nothing really too fancy, just some really minimal products which made it easier to pack as well. And I really look at packing as a challenge. I remember when I was younger, my dad said, you can take anything you want with you. And these were on trips to Europe. We took trains, airplanes, water taxis, whatever. And after the first trip of taking whatever I wanted with me and having to carry it, I decided I needed to find a better way to pack because I took way too much stuff and I used half of it. So over the years, I've really learned to make a science of this whole process and I've actually reduced to using plastic Ziploc baggies. I have a whole collection of cosmetic bags and makeup bags and travel bags but when it comes to going through TSA on flights, so these are um, specific to flying in the airports because um, it's getting a little bit more strict so I like to just pack in the, the port size bag that they ask you to pack in and that's what I've got here. So I have two bags. One of the bags has liquids in it, the other one has just cosmetics. So liquid bag is a quart size. And what's nice is that you can just, um, once this gets grimy, just get a new one, as opposed to, I'm a little bit of a germ freak. No, I'm a lot of a germ freak. I'm actually quite germaphobic, so when it comes to when things return back home, I disinfect everything. So this is a little bit easier for me if I can just replace it with a new one. But still, this already went through a cleaning process this morning. I soaked everything in soap and water and then followed up with some alcohol. So <laughs> it's a little excessive, but it makes me feel comfortable. So this is what I've got for liquids. And this is the cosmetic side. So I'm gonna go through and show you what exactly I took with me. I know there were a couple of full size items, but I just wanted to show you to compare to when I decant. So I've decanted a few things as well. So let's just go ahead and get started with liquids. Starting with the shampoo and uh, cleanser, I just have these tubes things, I think that's what they're called. And these are really easy to just put your uh, shampoo and conditioner in there. I also have the Purity Cleanser. This came in a, it's like a little gift with purchase. So I just took this with me as my cleanser. So those three actually went in a separate baggie because these things go to the actual bathroom in the hotel or wherever I'm staying, and um, that's just another layer of containing the germs. <laughs> Next up in here, let's go through another item I take with me. This is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. This is another 100 point perk, I think it was 100 point reward at Sephora. So when I do see those things that I use regularly in a very tiny package, I will use points for that. Then for moisturizing, I do have like a crazy 18, something step process when it comes to skincare, but when I travel, I get really simple with it. It's only for a few days. It's not gonna hurt anything if I skip something. So after cleansing, I will go ahead and tone. Here's a little hack. This looks really gross right now, but this is a cotton pad. So I take my Shiseido pads and I take a little snack size baggie and I'll put, like say I'm gone for five days, I always pack in extra because it's happened before where we end up being stuck overnight in a place we didn't expect to be stuck in because of a canceled flight. Say I'm gone for five days, six or seven of those little cotton pads in there, line them up, open the bag up, and then I take my toner, and right now I'm using the Tony Comfort by Lancome, and I will just get those all damp. So once those are damp, I seal it up, and they are like little toner wipes ready to go. So this is normally what I would use on an everyday basis, so instead of buying like a cleansing wipe or a toning wipe, this is how I take it. So that eliminates having to take an actual container of it and also cuts down on the liquid. So that is really handy if you haven't tried that yet. Another thing I did was I did this with a micellar water. So this is a 
new one from Sephora that I'm liking. It's the coconut water micellar water. And I did the same thing. So again, baggy, take your wipes, count them out, sprinkle it in there, get them damp, you're ready to go. And I don't have any more of those left because I used them all. But that's a really great first step in cleansing. I know that this is pretty small, but this is even smaller. So something to think about, plus again, less liquids. Next step for moisturizer, I just took two. And here's where samples come in handy again. Sometimes I like to try out new skincare while I'm on the road. And this is the Kiehl's Super Multi Corrective Cream, which I used at night. This is nice, it's a little bit greasy, so now I know, and um, nothing terrible happened to my skin. Unless you know you have something you're gonna totally break out with, you can try new things on the road. Then I had another teeny tiny little sample, the Ultimate Miracle Worker, the uh, cream with the 30 SPF in it. So this combined with a moisturizer, so SPF and moisturizer, two in one, cuts down on packing, and this is my daily anyway, so that was a really nice thing to have with me and this was yeah 0.225 ounces very tiny next up on skin so after i went through putting my moisturizer on i took this so sometimes i'll decant things and this is the by terry uh, cellular rose brightening cc serum and i just decanted it into this it is a vacuum pump and i got these off of amazon so they're really nice because you can't get any bacteria in there. It's not like you're opening a tub of something. You're actually squeezing it out and you can reuse it. You just need to push this bottom piece down. The top does screw off so you can refill it. I'll see if I can link this in the description box below because these have come in very handy, like I said, and then you're not taking this big old bottle. You just are taking a little bit and this is dedicated to my travel section. So. Some items I just keep ready to go, like a little escape pod for my cosmetics and uh, skincare. And I didn't bring foundation with me this time. I just went in with the By Terry Cellular Rose CC Serum. And then I went in with concealers. I took three concealers with me because I like to just swipe them by hand and then mix them, custom mix them. So I took the Tarte Shape Tape concealers in medium, tan, and deep and just use those under my eyes and on the areas where I needed coverage. I swiped those on the back of my hand and then I used this great little uh, brush that I'm surprised I found the caps to, uh, but it is a concealer brush. It's a dual sided one. It has a fluffier side and then a flat side, which I think is really great for concealer and sanitary because you can put a cap on the lids. I've been using this brush quite a lot, uh, just applying concealer because it doesn't lift off as much product. That way, if you want a heavier, more intense coverage, then I would use a brush because it doesn't take off like a beauty blender will actually take off some of the uh, concealer. If you're looking for a lighter weight concealer, then use a beauty blender, but if not, try a brush. I forgot to mention that I brought this eye cream, the Hydrating Eye Cream by Bobbi Brown. Uh, if you watched the last video, you'll know that I got that from the Cult Favorite box. It's nice, but I did notice um, that I missed my extra eye repair cream because it did get a little bit dry even though I was in a humid climate. So uh, that's another way to test if you really are missing something from your skincare. Like next time I'll just refill this with the extra eye repair cream, but use the same container. And I did bring this night serum with me, the Estee Lauder advanced night repair. This is really great and a nice little travel size. I'm kind of going out of order just because I'm picking stuff out of here. I have hand sanitizer and also the Lanolin Lano hand cream. I know this looks big but it's almost empty so it didn't take up that much room. Essential for travel for me because my hands get really dry. Next up I brought a lip gloss, the By Terry Bitten Splash. I love this beautiful color. It's a perfect color for my skin tone. I have a finishing spray, the All Nighter uh, Makeup Setting Spray by Urban Decay. Great for humid weather. Uh, yeah, I definitely use this one. And for uh, hair, I did bring a small brush and then I brought this Blow Up Balm by R & Co. And I haven't tried this before, but it seemed to work really nicely. Really smooth blowout and worked well. And then I would just run it through the ends after I was done just to kind of add moisture back in. Also, eye drops. These are the Roto Cool Max. I don't use eye drops that often, but I use uh, the Refresh Tears. But when I travel, my eyes tend to get red on the plane, so I brought this with me. And that's really it for the liquid products. So as you can see, they all fit in that little baggie and went through security just fine. And I mentioned I didn't really bring foundation, but I did bring a powder foundation. 
So no liquid foundation. I did bring this. I didn't really use it that much, but it's in G50. It's by Cover FX. Really beautiful color on me. And it was good for just kind of dotting in the center to take away the shine. And I used it more like a powder. So I like that it's powdery, but with some coverage. As for under eyes, so I don't use that. I use the NARS Translucent Crystal Powder. But I don't bring this big old thing. I decanted it into this very small, it was a Bare Minerals container. And I just emptied it and I added the powder in here. So instead of this big thing, I took this little one. I only brought a few brushes with me. So you saw the It Cosmetics brush for concealer. Then I brought this Real Technique setting brush for under the eye. So I used the translucent powder under the eye. And then I brought this brush. It is the Hourglass brush, which I think I talked about before. I was confused about really how to use it. But then I figured it, since it's thick, I was able to use it for multiple purposes. So I did use this brush with the foundation just to dot on like this and kind of swipe it away. And then I used it for bronzer. So I brought this bronzer, the Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light. Beautiful bronzer, bronzed up like this, and then I also do bring my ambient lighting powder in Radiant Light, and I use that to swipe all over my face as well. Just one thing about using one brush like this for multiple purposes, just make sure you clean it off on a tissue paper or something, because I went in with bronzer and forgot that was the last thing I used it for, and then the next day I went in with the um, Cover FX powder foundation, I went like this and left a nice dark mustache kind of effect on my face. So just be careful if you use a brush for many different things, just to clean it in between, a towel or a paper towel or a um, like a Kleenex, a tissue paper. But these are the only three brushes I took with me. Oh, I forgot to mention, I don't know how this got stuck in there. I did bring this teeny tiny little professional with me just for these areas right here. Knowing that it was going to be humid, I'd be hot, and that's when you start to see my pores is when it is humid. So I brought the professional with me and just dotted that on. Let's look at lips. So I took the Tom Ford 7th Sin with me, which I love, beautiful color, kind of coppery with some gold flecks in there. Never lose color for me. And then I brought this new one out of the Cult Favorites by Bobbi Brown and Brownie. Really beautiful, natural color. I was also thinking that if you are a bride and you're looking for a beautiful lipstick for your wedding and you're similar in coloring to me, I would look at this one. It's just really pretty. And oh, I did bring one more, but I didn't use this one at all. But I meant to, I just forgot it was there. Influencer, the Hourglass Lip Stilo, beautiful color. My sister recently asked me about a great nude color and I remembered that this one is really nice, nice. Eyebrows, I've got the Shuomura Brow Ink, which I love. The Dior Show Brow Styler and the Glossier Boy Brow. My typical everyday go-to must-haves can't live without these three. I've got them on right now. I ordered recently though the Shu Amora. There's a new brow product they have that I'm really curious to try, so I'll try that on camera with you. Then for mascara, I've got travel sizes. I've got the Dorsher Maximizer 3D, which I use every day. The, of course, the standard version, but I think I used 100 points to get these, so great for travel. And then I'll just use this up until it's done and then keep going with my other one. I also took the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara, been trying it out. Yes, it turns out there is a bit of transfer with this one, especially in the humidity, but it still was pretty good, uh, and it's in black. I brought the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in taupe, just for a neutral, no makeup, makeup look, and I used this with just mascara for the days, and then I added just some intensity with the By Terry Ombre Black Star in Velvet Orchid, and I just use it on the exterior of my eyes. I also brought the uh, By Terry Ombre Black Star in Bronze Moon, and that one is just beautiful for over the entire eye if you want. It just adds a little bit of something, some shimmer, not too much color on me. It doesn't turn out too dark. It just really enhances and is very beautiful. It stays in place all day. You don't need to worry about once you get it on. Of course, we've got Copper by Laura Mercier and the Caviar Eye Stick for the waterline, as always. And then I've got my Marc Jacobs Highliner in Black to Tight Line. And then finally, we've got the Eye Defining Pen by Tom Ford, and that really was just for the evening, and I would just add a little line on the top, and it made a big difference in terms of how everything looked. So I think that's it. Is that it? And I almost forgot the Spy Who Loved Me by Charlotte Tilbury. This is a great little one and I forgot 
to mention it because I was using it as a mirror actually just now and make sure you know hair my face and I love this because it does multiple things you can use it on cheeks for highlight you can use it on eyes lips anything versatile like this I think is a great idea because then you can of course use it for many things so anytime you can find something like that I think is a great thing to pack with yeah I think that I had everything I needed there wasn't something Sometimes you've got to go to a drugstore or something to pick up an item that you really need that you forgot. But in this case, I think I had everything with me. I think that's one of the few times I had everything I needed with me. I didn't need to go to the drugstore to pick anything up or feel like I was missing something I really wanted. So I think I have honed it down to my essentials. So if you have any travel hacks, travel tips that you'd like to share, I'd love to know what those are. I do enjoy this process. I know it's kind of crazy. Some people really hate packing, but I do like really seeing what I have in terms of essentials and how compact I can get them. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Because I think it really shows you what's really important to someone. Really, really, really. I thought I'd share a little white just to talk about how I apply that. I swipe them on my blah, blah product as much as when I use a blah blah. Just one thing about using one brush like this.